Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Dwayne Mariner is here working it today. Alpha Hydration and Wellness based out of LA. He joins us today live from Los Angeles to talk more about all the IV fluids, the wellness, the vitamins, the therapy, and so much more that he does. The IV vitamins, hydration, and of course, what makes him the best in the business. Welcome back. You are the best in the wow. business. Wow. Yes. Wow. That's a, that's a lot to live up to right there. Uh, <laughs> we think we're the best. That's for sure. Well, so thank you for that introduction yet again. You're just an awesome person. I've known him for months now and he's just good people and him and his thank wife you. and the business is just amazing what they're doing and how they're, they've been helping so many people with their services. And I want to mention that. Uh, obviously, we know uh, the website. Tell us how we can contact you. Yeah, yeah, www.ahsiv.com. You can reach us on socials, uh, Facebook, uh, at Alpha Hydration, Insta, the very same. Uh, Google, uh, Alpha Hydration, Yelp, Alpha Hydration, Bing, Alpha Hydration. If you type in Alpha Hydration, the wellness or Alpha Hydration services, you will get us. If you type in my name, you will get us. So lots of ways to get in touch. So, hey, no excuses, right? Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. No excuses. But you are here helping so many with illness to help maintain that healthy lifestyle. Uh, Also, stem cells. Where did you want to go today? Where are we talking about? (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Well, the the sky's the limit. I feel like we're always having to uh, figure out what we want to talk about because it's also exciting. Uh, We talked about a little bit about stem cells, Mm -hmm. uh, talked a little bit about exosomes, talked a little bit about the IVs, talked a little bit about the hormone replacement therapy. Uh, Really, uh, I think we should just talk about the take home. Perfect. Uh, What is the take home? Tell us. Tell us. The take home is health, uh, optimizing your health, uh, keeping yourself healthy, keeping yourself out of the hospital. You know, is it guaranteed? No, of course not. But it's going to certainly hedge your bets against lots of things. Dehydration causes a lot of different symptoms. Uh, when it causes those symptoms, it starts a, uh, a cascade effect of several things. So you want to kind of stay ahead of the game. Uh, to the point that when we go to Texas, my dad, who was in the hospital for six oh. months last year, something like that, give him bags all the time, every time we go. Because it just keeps him out of the game. He doesn't drink enough water. His kidneys don't work great. You know, so I just keep him going, keep him going. He's not even that old. He was that last last year was just a big setback. Uh, he got sepsis and ended up lots of stuff. It was a nightmare. Mm-hmm. But since then, we keep him, you know, we keep him with all that stuff just so he'll be ahead of the game. But I mean, just because, you know, just because, uh, you drink water and stuff, and you're, oh, I take all my vitamins and everything. It doesn't necessarily add up to hydrated and actually have your vitamin stores up to where they need to be. Those stores actually start to diminish as we get older. You don't mm-hmm. have as many, and you start seeing potassium fall, sodium fall. If you're dehydrated, then <sighs> the sodium goes up, and it concentrates. It's a whole thing. So you really got to think about not only the here and now, but future, future you, uh, all it takes is, you know, a couple good, uh, good illnesses and you can really wreck your system. And this can kind of help you head those, you know, kind of hedge your bets against all that. And that's why we do it. We do it every day for ourselves. Well, not every day, obviously we do it for ourselves at least every couple weeks. Uh, mm-hmm. in fact, I'm due. I did one, I think I did one on air not too long ago, but I have done like 10 since then. So we do we do a lot of them to ourselves just to keep ourselves healthy. Uh, you know, we do a lot of the uh, cancer treatments. Vitamin C, uh, most notably because it's been around for, they've been researched 60 or 70 years uh, with good results. So we do lots of vitamin C for people to kind of help them uh, na- naturally fight cancer the best that, that, that we can with what we're given. Uh, had some good results with that. Uh, but yeah, everything we do is to optimize your health. Uh, mm-hmm. Replacement therapy, optimize your health, optimize how you get through your daily your daily grind. Do you have your energy? Do you have your wherewithal? Uh, is your libido okay? There's lots of things. 
So, well, I, I commend you on this. No, I mean, but those that don't know your background, you're tuning in. I mean, this guy, you worked as an RN for how many years? Almost 20 years in the emergency department. In the emergency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So talk about hands-on experience and to leave that oh career gosh. to do this. I mean, clearly you're still helping people, but you have so much experience under your belt. And with your knowledge of being there in, in emergency medicine and for so long, how did you discover yeah, yeah. that this was an amazing, you know, opportunity and path because so many people can benefit from this, you know, not just, you know, your work as a nurse, but from all these IVs. And where did you learn about this whole concept? from clearly it's big it's huge you have your own company now and you've been doing it for right so long. yeah uh really just kind of fell into it uh my wife was uh, a lady just told her about it and we we're like well we could do that mm -hmm. and so went ahead and started it in 2018 still worked in the er but we just uh you know i, I think i mentioned before we just started losing our empathy and mm -hmm. You know, it just became, it became a job. Once it becomes a job, it's just not the same. Uh, you just don't, you think the worst of society. And, and so we were looking for a way to, one, regain our empathy, regain our self-respect, and mm -hmm. two, get out of the ER because of the way it was going, the way hospitals in and of themselves are going. They're so much more profit-driven now. And uh, while I do think people should make a profit if they're going to have a business or whatever, but I mean, come on, yeah. you know, to the point where you're basically gouging people to get it. I'm, I'm just not on board with that. Uh, so I just, we just started doing it. As we started doing it, we started seeing more need for different things. So we just kept snowballing it, you know, yeah. okay, well, this, this looks like something, this looks like a way to go. This looks like a way to go. Oh, well, let's add a little bit of this. Let's do some of this. Uh, and it just, by default, we've just kind of grown to where we are. And then the more things we offer that can actually help people stay healthy or again, hedge, hedge their bets or, you know, keep them ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. I, and I, I get so much stuff from people who come in, have you heard about? I've got so many things that you've heard, have you heard about. That's probably one of the biggest drivers to how we actually grow is with the have you heard about. Uh, because if it's something that's starting to gain traction or it's something that I've seen and thought, hmm, that might be a nice addition then I'll add it in, you know, be it a big machine, whatever. It just depends on what it is. So we try to stay not only ahead of the curve, but, uh, well, not only, let's say this, not only with the curve, we try to stay a little bit ahead of it, which sometimes we are, sometimes we're not. That's just kind of how it goes. Uh, but that's kind of how we got into it, just really by default. So we just started noticing when people were getting their labs drawn in the ER, like everybody was dehydrated. They are all on the dehydrated side of normal. Everybody, yeah, and we, you know, so there's a few, you know, that come in for nothing. But so I started looking, and we started looking, and you know, there's so many people that would we would just give IV fluids to, just fluids. They could be coming in for the most, or the worst pain in their stomach they've ever had in their entire lives. It's a ten out of ten. Give them some IV fluids, and like, oh, I'm good. And you're like, well, we didn't even do anything, you know. So we started noticing that as a kind of kind of a trend. Uh, we used to call it life saving sailing because people would just all of a sudden do better. I have no explanation for it other than I guess they got hydrated, everything got happy, they go home happy. We don't see them again. Uh, so when you start noticing the way those things like that trend, and you know you have all the all the subjective data with people's blood work, and you have a large sampling pool. It's not like you just have one or two people sampling. We have a large sampling pool, you know. Could be 30, 30, 40 patients an hour coming through there. And, you know, 80% uh, of them are getting blood work and you're looking mm -hmm. at blood work going, hmm, 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 hmm. So things just start kind of pinging and you're just, you're kind of blown away, you know, because you're like, well, okay, well, they're here all the time. So how can their numbers be this bad? They just got full of yesterday or whatever. So you just start kind of correlating everything and saying, okay, well, this is what happens when you're unhealthy. What happens when you're healthy? No, you're probably be ahead of the game too. So, again, just by default, then you know, taking uh, I took a uh, doctorate level course for 
naturopathic uh, IV vitamin therapy. That was a nightmare, but it was needed because when I came out of nursing school, so they don't really teach you vitamins. They teach you what's in food. You know, but nobody's getting their, all their vitamins from their food anymore. I mean, it's obvious. It's all on the store shelves. It's everywhere. You yeah. know, right next to the spinach is a is a jar of crushed spinach or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, for first you can get the vitamin A or K or whatever's in spinach. That's why I don't remember that because it was such a small part of uh, school. The vitamins, the actual take-home vitamins and stuff. So mm-hmm. I'm sitting around and going, hey, you know, what do these things really do? I'm kind yeah. of thinking to myself, what do these things really do? You know, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I, I know what vitamin C does, but do I really know what vitamin C does? Do I really know what zinc does? Do I really know what glutathione does? Do I really know, you know, and they were all kind of little unfamiliar, kind of scary, even though they're hundred percent safe. It's still something that you're not used to. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm used to giving fentanyl. I'm not mm-hmm. used to giving glutathione. Yeah. So it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, so I go do this, uh, Two, it's, I think it was actually a three day course. I only had to do two days, thank goodness, because they had to teach them how to do IVs, which I didn't mm-hmm. have to do. Uh, but they go, I mean, just tons and tons and tons and tons of info. So you just get hammered with all these slides of vitamins. What do they do? How do yeah. they do it? What's the chemical reaction? What's mm-hmm. this? What's that? What goes the, so it was just a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. So we started kind of incorporating what they show these things to do. And I'm thinking, how can we do this to help people with acute illness, uh, chronic illness, chronic inflammation? I mean, the Myers cocktail has been around since the 50s. Joseph Myers developed that. And it's been well received across the world, you know, for what it does for anti-inflammatory, mm-hmm. chronic conditions, uh, so I just expounded on that, found it, compounded, whatever, grew on the Myers and just kind of went from there and just said, okay, well, if this does this, but, you know, how mm-hmm. can we add this to make this do this for this for somebody for whatever? So neuropathies or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, the, the short story is almost by default. You know, it was a way out of the emergency department, not because we didn't want to work and everything like right. we just our humanity mm-hmm. you know it's it, it was it was awful it was awful it was really it, there had to be an exit and there had to be an exit soon because it was just not good and, and most people that we worked with mm. uh all over are gone from the emergency department because of just there's just, you just it's just too hard to take it home and like people you know, I think yeah. it's, it's really tough. It's really tough. So it kind of brings us up to today, you know, where we, where we get a help, we, you know, we get a help the best that we can, you know, I, man, if I can run stuff through insurance, I try to give it through people's insurance. I do whatever I can to help mm-hmm. people feel good with that, without breaking the bank. And, you know, sometimes we do some, some charity stuff and uh, we get to help, which is, really what we like uh because you know everybody likes to help it makes them feel good but even still it just it, it just uh it, it, it changes the return on helping and doing stuff for people is so much better than than you really can imagine if if uh, it's better than being in a hospital you know because yeah. you don't get a, you don't get a lot of thank yous but with this what we do we get lots of thank yous and it's it's nice it's nice we really Enjoy it. Now we're going into, really, I guess we're going into our seventh year, which is uh, crazy. That we're is. Into seven years. It's it's nuts. I never, one, I never thought I'd be a business owner. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought I always wanted to be one, but I didn't know what I wanted to own, actually. And how to do it. That's uh, got to be so hard, figuring it out. Oh, like, my I just, gosh. What I always say, nightmare. I don't have it. Everyone's like, you should own your own business. And I'm like, I don't, I have an entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurial brain. I'm like, I don't even know where to start. But what, was it hard? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anybody that says it's easy is full of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's hard because if you don't come from a business background or you didn't go to school for business or you've never really seen the inner workings of a business, you yeah. have no idea. You know, like I've, I may have talked about this before. I mean, I was so I even I even took you know classes in college that were computer and 
you know, doing like web pages and stuff like that. But, but I never realized there was actually algorithms for like Google and stuff. I thought it was like alphabetical. You know, nobody really ever said, Hey, by the way, Google's not alphabetical. It's, you know, based on popularity or based on search. Shit. So I figured if we just have a name, starts with an A. Hey, yeah. Just like in phone book, it'll just pop up. No, there's so many things you learn on the fly. <laughs> and people call me all the time and say, well, how did you do this? I'm like, Ooh, how did I do that? Trial and error. You know, how did you do your marketing? Trial and error. How's your marketing? It's terrible. Do you mm. still do it? Yeah, because I'm don't. i not a marketing guy. I have no idea. And the, and the struggles never end. They never, ever, ever end. Uh, once you think you've got it lined up and know exactly what you're doing, something else changes. Uh, especially in the world we live in now with the internet and uh, it evolves and all this technology evolves so fast. You, you, you can't just run. I mean, you can, I mean, we have a cobbler that lives by right over by us. I, I don't know how they stay in business. I don't understand it, but those little businesses, yes, you can, you can run those and they're relatively easy. Uh, you know, you get your little tax stuff, you line it up and you're good. You don't do a lot of advertising, but if you want to do anything that has any kind of growth potential or uh, you really want to get that reach out where you can help more people or whatever, you have to find experts for everything from web mm -hmm. web design to, to marketing to, yeah. you know, getting inside other places. Like we advertise in some gyms constantly on the board and, and then, you, you know, then you have objective numbers that says, oh, well, this many people looked at it. How many clients did you get this week from it? Zero, you know. So no matter how big your reach is, you still have to pull people in or get them on the phone or get them to talk to them. I hate to say it, but it's, a, it's not really a sell. It sells itself. You know, okay. I'm just going to tell you the truth of what it does. And that, you know, you can make an informed decision from there. But, uh, excuse me. Sure. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. And I actually have a, a lady that reached out to me from Long Beach. And she said, you know, I have my IV business. And I'm just doing well enough to stay afloat. And I'm like, oh, man, do I know that feeling. Uh -huh. uh, all too well, because it's so hard. If you are not independently wealthy. It is very, 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 very hard to start a business, and it's even harder in California because of all the regulation and the tax agencies. Mm -hmm. And all, if you do it right, you know, yep. if, you, if you do it right to where you're lawful and all that, uh, yeah, it's hard. It's hard, and uh, there are no shortcuts. You know, you can, yeah, it's hard. We actually started one in Texas. We haven't opened the doors yet because. Got so much stuff going on between here and there, and uh, so it uh, the second one will be easier. The first one is uh, a learning experience, and it is uh, it's not a very fun one. You you take you take some licks mm -hmm. for sure, where you're just like, oh wow, I wasted all that money for this, and I mean thousands of dollars just for websites, and you know people calling you and they're going to promise the world you're going to be yep. top of the Google page. Oh, you need to advertise on Facebook. Oh, you should be advertising on Instagram. Well, what about TikTok? I, it's nonstop peppering. And I don't know who to trust. Yeah. And that's a big deal. You don't know who to trust. Are they just after your money? They really care. Well, nine times out of 10, they're just after your money. Yeah. And uh, we fell for a lot of the stuff that I'm sure new small businesses fall for. Just like we do. Oh, that sounds great. That'll get us all over the map, you know? And then... Six months later, you burned through, you know, eighteen or twenty thousand dollars, and you're like, "Hmm, my return is not there." So it's it's difficult. Can it's I just difficult. ask like a basic question? Like, how do you even start the process? How could how do you even qualify for a small business loan if you've never owned a business? Just curious. How does well, that part work? I don't know because I, we did it out of pocket. Oh God bless you. So, okay. Yeah. God bless. Okay. So we started with, uh, just. Every, yeah, everything out of pocket, and we never took out a small business loan, so mm -hmm. I have no idea how to get it. But as far as far as I know, as far yeah. as I know from years ago of research, is there's a lot of things you have to do. And one is you have to like submit a business plan, mm -hmm. and then 
like stuff that you don't learn just sitting at home or, or whatever, you yeah. know, stuff that you don't learn as a nurse mm-hmm. or whatever. Do you have to do a lot of uh, pre-work to get these small business loans? Uh, I'm sure there are some caveats, but for the most part, it's you have to do like business plans, show what you, you know, what's this, what's this, what you anticipate your gross to be, you know, do you gotta have employees. Yeah, it's a it's, it's a big deal. Wow, it's, what a gamble though to go all. in and use your own money like that. God bless you, but that's so hard. Oh. But in the that end, just tells you where we were at and how yeah. worth it it was to us that we're willing to go bankrupt <laughs> one to get out of this yeah. monster hospital system where they're just fleecing people and we're hating life because we're part of the fleecing and we can't do anything about it and and not liking people in general to how can how can we help you how can we use our yeah. skills to help you better your life optimize your life stay out of this monstrosity we call a healthcare system and be independently healthy versus independently wealthy independently healthy uh, and I, we've had really good success you know really good success wow. uh, and that 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 makes that makes us happy so that's kind of a long and short of starting a business and how we how we keep running it and get up every day and you know it's uh it's it's, re- it's rewarding and it? sometimes it's financially rewarding depends on the time of mm-hmm. year sometimes it's you know sometimes the struggle is real we're a small business and we just we work like everybody else we just happen to be on the front end saying well i'm in charge of me which is nice it's nice not to have to report to too many bosses which at the end of the day we all have a boss somewhere yeah it's so true <laughs> Great. I love that we just randomly talk about things. This is awesome. This is like totally unexpected, but I'm learning. Um, wow. Yeah. The, the stresses of, of your business, but wow. And I mean, there's ups and downs, right? So is there times of the year where your business is less? Like, it, like you know, I'm thinking you know, it's different. I'm in the Northeast. So it's like, we have the cold months we have, yeah. or what yeah. is, what is the, the system cyclical system like there? Man, I have, Looked at the numbers. I look at it all the time, and I still can't really see where there's ups and downs. It's so mm-hmm. it's so labile. You know, obviously in the winter you get you get more people because they don't feel good. Uh, summer though, summer we tend to get busy too. So there's there's some lags like in in early spring, uh, early summer when the kids go get get out of school. Uh, now, where kids are getting going back to school, everybody's kind of getting their ducks in a row. Vacations are ending, uh, so we see a little bit of a drop off then. But there's really, I don't know. I, I've tried to really gauge it and see what days work best, what days work best to be open, what days work best to be open late. It, it doesn't matter. It's all over the place. You know, it's it's, it's unpredictable. Uh, so business is obviously winter, and then from there. I have no idea. I'd almost say summer was second because yeah. it's so so busy during the summer, which I, I've never really understood. But I it just is. I think people, you know, start thinking of they get outside, and start feeling crummy, and start thinking about taking care of themselves. Hmm. So you know, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. I wish somebody could see that the difference because it's that you know six years. I still don't see that objective yeah. data that showed. Oh yeah, this is a better time than this time. Oh sure, you could close at two o'clock on this. This you know, whatever. No, can't. It's always a crapshoot. Just never know. Always it could be crapshoot. seven days a week, and it could be zero days a week that you're busy. You just, you just don't know. Yeah, it's crazy, mm. and it's still not as stressful as when I worked offshore oil rigs. So <laughs> that's uh, that that's a good thing. No, it's a no, good no stress thing. like that. Yeah, it's a good thing. Yes. All right. So, what else? Well, um, just like, you know, you're sitting here, do you ever like make time to do the alpha hydration process to yourself and to your family? Like, or do you like, are you like the shoemaker's, uh, you know, son that doesn't have shoes? <laughs> no, uh, we do it to ourselves all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, in fact, my wife's getting infusion right now on the, on the, uh, ah. the lounge. Uh, no, I mean, we, we literally do it. Before any time we travel, if we're going to go play golf, I do it the day before. Anything that's going to be energy draining or hot, I'll do it. 
if we fly, I'll do it because it's so good for jet lag. If you don't really get jet lag with it. Uh, if I feel a little tired, I'll do mm -hmm. it. I mean, I, it's every little reason I can think of, I'll do it. But it just makes you feel good. You know, you feel, you feel energized. And not like you just drink a bunch of coffee, your heart rate's going 1,000 miles an hour. Nothing like that. It's just your body just is happy. It's reached its homeostasis yeah. where it's getting to utilize everything. So, yeah, we do it to ourselves all the time. <sighs> I, there are times that I'm lacking and I'm like, hmm, well, I haven't done it in a couple months. You know, I just, just forgot. But I try to stay on top of it. In fact, I just had one end of last week. Friday last week. So I'll probably do one again tomorrow. It'll be time again. Got it. Just stay ahead. Just to stay ahead. You know, stay sharp, stay focused. Gosh, stay, I, I wish I lived closer. I could use, I could use some. Um, I could. <laughs> I guarantee if you go into the city, they got them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't ever get out. Yeah. It's hard. I, I live so far oh, from the city, but I live like an hour oh, away from your city. Out. But well, oh, perfect, we have yeah. single mom, work full time two kids full time with the kids. There's no every other weekend. There's really no time to myself. So I'm just like, that's yeah. why I'm kind of like tired. <laughs> I love yeah. them, but yeah. I can't exactly. wait to go back to school. When is school starting back for them? It, oh, it starts. Yeah. You guys probably started already uh, after Labor Day, the week after um, Labor Day. Yeah. Some out here, they do it. They stack their schedules. So okay. some are back. Some don't go back till so odd and there's so many charter schools and private schools and you, you know you don't ever know you can really tell when traffic picks back up which yep. anymore the gauge is hardly there because there's traffic all the time it doesn't matter where you go but like by around our house where we have a little elementary school you start seeing lots of people so yeah yeah i, I, I think they start going back the whole month of august and even after labor day and all that so <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. All right. I think every parent's ready for them to go back, though. I can't think of one parent that's not. Do you remember I those the school? Days? I know. Yeah, I why know. don't they just have year-round school? I mean. It makes sense. I don't. It, it really does. I used taxes, to think how dumb but... it was. Oh, my mm -hmm. gosh. Taxes, taxes, taxes. Yeah, that's I'm what it's all about. Out. Ditto. That's the other part of starting a business. All the taxes. Ta uh. I have five different tax agencies I report to. Uh. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, tax you out of prosperity. Well, always a pleasure having you. Unfortunately, we are out of time, and I always love speaking with you. You're always on par. Always, I mean, sometimes you're late, but I love that about you because you're just like a normal person. You're like you're working here, you're working there. You're you're so funny. Just pop on. You're in your car. You're doing a live session with somebody. It, it was cool, man. You you are just you're so much fun. And like I said, that voice. Well, thank you. I saw Zach Brown last week, and I took my kids and everyone to see Kenny Chesney and Zach Brown. I'm telling you, you remind me of Zach. Oh, I love his chicken fried song. Me too. <laughs> it makes me feel so good. I don't know why, but I just think it makes me feel really good. It sure does. The Zach Brown band. And yeah, he is. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you for Country. being here, sweetheart. As always, how can we reach thank you? Thank you for having me. Uh, okay. Lots of ways. You can text me. 818-42-3252. You can call me. Same number. Uh, info at ahsiv.com. That will get you pretty much to me. You can reach us on socials. Uh, Kind of, but you can at least reach us through the social via all our websites and stuff. And that's uh, www.hsiv.com. And Thank socials you. is at Alpha Hydration. Beautiful. Have and a I'm fantastic day. Thank you so we'll much, my friend. Soon. Dwayne, enjoy the See day. You soon. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. 
when I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.